Hello everybody, this is Gangsta Mario here. And last time that I made a YouTube video, it was of Mortal Kombat, the Super Nintendo version. You know, the one without blood. And today we're going to do the Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat 2. This is whenever Nintendo started realizing they should put the blood in. But to start things off, I'll show you a really cool thing that you could do. So, whenever you first turn on the power, and this comes up, hold L and R, and wait for a few seconds. You weak, pathetic fool. <laughs> Now that was a special thing. Um, normally, if you would, you know, just do it without holding L and R, then it would just show the claim logo and that's it. But if you hold L and R, then it shows them being it up. So yeah. So I would go put the difficulty on very easy, cause you know, it's unbearable AI. Um, I'm pretty good with a lot of characters, but I'll go with Kung Lao first. He's one of my favorites. Battle plan. Right. Round one. Fight. I did pretty good there. Didn't I get a Yeah, I got a flawless. Flawless. Well, it's kind of to be, to be expected because it is the first character. Oh, got hit. Um. So as you can see, they added the blood in on Mortal Kombat 2. This is the reason why it's one of my favorites. This game. Watch this. Oh. I was so focused on talking that I let myself lose. Alright, now I'm gonna try now. Watch this. To do that, you hold low punch, low kick. And then go up to him and do an uppercut while still holding those two buttons. And then you'll knock him into the pool. Instead of doing their regular stage fatality, which I'll do in this stage as well. But I'm kind of excited that I get to finally play this game on YouTube channel. This is one of my favorite Mortal Kombat games. But, um, I can remember a few fatalities, like a few of the stage fatalities and stuff, like that. I can remember a few of other fatalities for the actual characters. But I can't really remember any of the friendships or the babalities. It's kind of hard to remember for me. I always have to pull up a website just to look at, look for them. I'm pretty good at it for a while now. <laughs> I love doing that. Just to finish your opponent off, you do like a little kick. Round two, fight. Hey, he has this other move, which is like he spins, but there's not really any use to it with the AI because whenever they they never really jump at you that much. They just I don't know. They just really hard watch. That fatality is awesome. 
That's got to be one of the best in this entire series. His other one's okay, because he throws his hat, and with the hat, he cuts his opponent's head off. It's kind of tricky to pull off, though, because you got to actually aim the hat, take off the head. I'll try it. I watch. Yes, he got a first try. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually tell you how to do the fatalities. Um, Kung Lao's, Kung Lao's fatalities, the one I did before, the hat slice. Um, that one is Ford, 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 low kick. You know, I'd be like, um, I'd say a bit between sweet distance and close distance, but I'm not sure. And his other one, you go all the way to the back of the screen, hold low punch, press back forward. It's kind of like doing his regular move, back forward low punch, but instead you do, you know, you hold low punch and then press back forward and then let the button go. Ooh. Do the hat slice again. Yeah. I am called Smoke. Yeah, that's one of the secret characters they get to fight. Um, they have three of the characters you get to fight. There's Smoke, which we just saw. They have Noob Saibot, which is basically like, um, I forgot who it was, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, or Reptiles, um, they're either one of those characters. They just colored it entirely black, and then they turned to Noob Saibot, which is Sub-Zero's older brother, according to the story from Mortal Kombat Deception. And also, there's another character named Jade, which I just, I just hate her. Especially in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, because she's got the invincibility thing, where she could flash. Anytime I try throwing my spear at her, because I always play a scorpion, and she's always, um, she's able to do two things at once. She's able to do the move, which is back, forward, X. And then run towards you and do a combo all at the same time. How are you able to do that in real life? I want to see somebody actually do that. I really do. If there's a human player that could do that, that would be amazing. I don't know. Just sometimes the AI is just so, you know, cheap. Pit stage. Knock him off. This is awesome. Whenever I knocked him off, you saw the screen came up. Or should I say the character came down? Yeah, the, this is awesome. I really don't know what to say about this game because it's just. It doesn't have any combos like the next game does, but still, I find it a bit better. I'm not sure why. Probably because you could do this. I think that's one of my main reasons why. No, never mind. I just do nothing.
I really do want to play as somebody else like Raven, but the fact that I have five credits and five credits only, that just sucks. I have to save them all up for Kentaro because there's a little exploit that allows me to get past Kentaro and that's the only way for me. I can't get past them any other way. I'll probably, I'll probably will use continue anyway. I'm not going to get through this without using continues. Because I used right at the end. It's pretty easy to defeat Shao Kahn as Raiden at the end. As Kintaro, you can do it with anybody, but you have to do the exploit thing. Sub Zero. Oh, AI is getting tough. Come on, man. He's spamming the ice. I would say something, but right now, but I already said it in the last Mortal Kombat thing. If he just keep walking up to me, I'll keep uppercutting him. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe I should do that. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. You hear that little thing that they said before they said Kung Lao wins? Oh, what? Well, to do that after you do the thing, you know, you hold low kick and low punch, and then you go uppercut them. Right after you do that, you hold down until the sound is made. I really like making that. Oh my god. Yep. So if I die here, I'm gonna become Raiden now. I find Raiden's a bit better than Kung Lao. I can never find a perfect time to use that. Stop throwing me! Gosh! Alright, now I'm bringing out Raiden. I can also remember Raiden's fatalities as well, both of them. All it does is just require holding a button and that's it. Very easy to do. Ah. What the heck? Die. Okay. Spamming the lightning. That seemed to work on my. Uh, uh, now I can't because I'm holding the button. Okay, watch. To do that, you hold low kick for four seconds, go up to him, and then let the button go, and then keep rapidly pressing. Block and low kick. Just keep rapidly pressing it simultaneously.